In 1978, the British Public Broadcasting Company planned a series of interview programmes exploring lesser-known individuals in the music industry. The programme never made it to air, and the footage was lost and long forgotten. Until now. Hello. My name is Ronnie Jackson, and I'm a rock and roll legend. During the Second World War, young Ronnie Jackson was evacuated from London with other British children. However, at the conclusion of the war, Ronnie's parents did not retrieve him. They were alive and well, but had chosen to start a new life as Bavarian circus clowns, and that decision did not include Ronnie Jackson. Growing up in post-war London, Ronnie was forced to fend for himself, taking odd jobs and working where he could. But he had difficulty holding down employment. The young man faced an uncertain future, until one life-changing event. It all started my very first concert. <sighs> the Beatles. I wasn't a roadie yet, just a fan. He pushed toward the stage, needing to get closer to the Fab Four. And I accidentally pushed over the amplifier and it electrocuted 17 people. And I knew at that moment, I needed to be a roadie. According to Ronnie, he has worked for over 200 musical acts. I've toured with pretty much every major rock and roll band in the last 20 years. From the Stones to ACDC, The Beatles, The Doors, Elton John, Aerosmith, Led Zeppelin, Jimi Hendrix, Johnny Cash, Bob Dylan, The Who, Janis Joplin, Pat Boone. He was kind of an asshole. You wouldn't think it. Jefferson Airplane, The Eagles, David Crosby, Black Sabbath, Elvis Presley. Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> but he has never remained with any tour for more than a single day. Now, I'd never been fired. My services were no longer required. It's like a compliment. You cannot do any better at your job. You've done everything there is to do. You have perfected your position because you're so good, you need to go somewhere else and do someone else's job. I'm in the Guinness Book. I am. Most tours worked on by a roadie. We contacted the Guinness Book of World Records and they said they have never heard of Ronnie Jackson. It's there. We contacted them again and they again said they had no knowledge of Ronnie Jackson. I'm in there. The third time we rang them, they hung up on us. Ronnie traveled the world, working with the top names in music. Ronnie met them all. Did you know that Linda Ronstadt loves to play Pull My Finger? Gray Slick smells like lilacs. On Joan Jett, she smells like lilacs too. James Taylor can really put away the Coke. No, no, Coca-Cola. And the heroin. So I told him, you're the real talent in the band. You should strike out on your own. So he did. Take it from me. You're going to hear a lot more out of Ike Garfunkel. Ike Turner? Oh, no, no, never worked for him. He's not here, is he? So, what was life like on the road? Was there much sex on tour? Everybody was getting laid. Except me. F*** you in the with you And how the f*** are you with the my f*** this f*** you? And that's how I met Marie Osman. I once saw Anne Murray kill a man with a toothpick. Oh, I had a threesome with Fleetwood Mac. Then I woke up the next morning and turned out it was a midget in their tour account in Sheldon. He still sells me holiday cards every year. Sweetheart, that. Ozzy, Ozzy, Ozzy. What do you mean he's not dead? Are you sure? Well, I'm as surprised as you are. And then there was the infamous pig incident. I toured with Pink Floyd. My job is to take care of the big pink pig. And uh, my boot got caught on the pig. And I floated away on the evening breeze. And I landed in Amish country. I met a nice Amish family. 
Lived with them for a few years. I call them every Christmas. Strange, they never answer my phone calls. After two decades in rock and roll, what wisdom has Ronnie gained? Never confuse a rock star's cocaine with their crotch itch powder. You know who else smells like lilacs? Keith Richards. Did God give rock and roll to us? Are you bloody serious? No, he didn't. He gave us things like asparagus, giraffes, Czechoslovakian women. It's heartwarming how much Gary Glitter likes children. He has a special place in his heart for little Asian boys. You never think how easy it is to light things on fire. Don't tell anyone. I think Elton John might be a homosexual. So I was talking with Elvis the other day. He said he loves his new gig, Rising Sheep, in Montana. Said faking his death was the best. I might have said too much there, eh? Of all the tours Ronnie worked with, one band was closest to his heart. The band he first saw on stage all those years ago. When I toured with the Beals, John, Paul, George, the other one, it was like, it was like I was the fifth Beale. They never said that, but they knew it. My time with the Beals, those were the, the best three hours of my life. Ronnie Jackson was never heard from again. Next on BPBC, The History of Dirt, the first episode in a 17-part series. Is it now? You know who else smells like lilacs? Meatloaf. You'd think he smelled like meatloaf. I came out and 